Hi everybody, my name is Julie and I work at Chatham Branch at CKPL. As we can't meet up in person right now, we are bringing our programming to you with our Crafternoons to go. Each month we will feature a new kit you can sign up for and we'll post a video tutorial so we can all craft together. If you weren't able to get a kit, I will go over all of the supplies so you will know what you need to follow along. Today's craft is a waterfall card. Let's get started. So for today's craft, I'll go over the supplies that are included in the kit and also the additional things you will need to complete this card. So first off, you will find a heart template that you will use to trace. There's a long piece of black paper, which will be your base for the waterfall. There's colored, different colors of paper that you will cut your hearts out of. A smaller strip that we'll use to attach it. And then also a piece of cardstock that you can use as a base for your card so it's ready to go. The additional supplies are a ruler, pencil, scissors, and some glue. So the first step that we're going to do is to start making our hearts that are, will be used for the waterfall. So use the template provided, trace it onto the paper provided. And then cut it out with your scissors. Okay, so then continue doing this until you use all of the paper provided in your kit. So now comes the little bit more complicated part of this project. To begin with, we are going to take one of our hearts and mark out along the side, just put a small tick where the top of the heart is. That's where we're gonna start measuring up so we know where to place the rest of the hearts. So you can put this to the side for now. We're gonna take our ruler and start marking in one centimeter, one centimeter increments up so that we have six spaces in which to glue our hearts. So, I'm gonna start here. Just put a tick. To... Four, five, six. So we have six spaces. At each of those tick marks, we're gonna draw, draw a line across. As straight as possible using the lines as on the ruler as guides. Okay, so when I take this away, you can see that we've got six sections. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, we need to do some folding along these lines, which will allow for the function of the waterfall card. And I found the easiest way to get a nice straight line is to use your ruler and fold it up. Just hold it down tight. Use your ruler as a guide, make a crease. Now we're gonna to continue to do that for all of these lines. And this is our last one. Okay, 
So they're all folded, but we want to make sure there's lots of movement here. So we're gonna be just folding the lines back and forth. This will allow the waterfall function to work smoothly. And then one more. There. So then we're left with something that moves like this. All right, the next step is to attach our hearts into the spaces that we created. So you can attach your hearts in any way, any order that you find pleasing to you. I'm just gonna start with, I'm just gonna pull them off the top and whatever happens, happens. So, in this bottom section where we measured out the first time, we are going to be attaching a dot of glue in two spots. So these hearts are only going to be attached at the top. Everything else is going to be free to move. So, I'm gonna put a touch of glue there. You just need a tiny, tiny bit. You don't want too much. And then we can continue doing that in each section going up to the top. So now we're going to touch our hearts. Just taking some of the excess off there. Okay. <clears throat> This is why you just need a tiny bit. You don't want gobs of glue coming out the side. And then our last one. Okay. There. So those are all attached. <clears throat> now we're going to, where this top fold was, we're gonna bring this bottom piece underneath, just like so. <clears throat> you might need to make a little bit of an adjustment in the fold at the top that doesn't meet up quite properly like mine does. So I'm just gonna line it up <clears throat> and try to put another crease in. <laughs> there. Okay. <clears throat> Got some glue. All right, so this next step, <clears throat> you're gonna take the st small strip that was included in your kit. You're gonna put it down on the table and lie your card on the top. This, these two end pieces are gonna be attached onto, underneath your bottom part. So, I'm gonna lift this up. So first we'll just fold it so that part's done. There, so we got these. And we're going to lift up our bottom heart, open out the tab, a little bit of glue. And attach it underneath this heart, like so. Now we'll do the same thing to the other side.
Okay, so there's the bulk of our card made. It should work. Might just need to, the more you move it up and down, the better it works. So kind of the nice thing that you can do with this card, whoops, my thing came up there. You can write little messages or pictures as little surprises as, as people are looking at your card. I'm just gonna get, put a little more glue on this thing because it's popping off. There we go. <clears throat> and there's the finished product. And then you can take the piece of paper that was included in your kit and glue it on top. Like so. And there you go, a completed waterfall card.